All right, so something interesting here. As many of you are aware that water can get into cables and cause problems. When you have a cable coming inside a building from the outdoors, there's always the risk of it filling with water. Sometimes you see they do crazy things like put drip loops. You'll see it when it comes into the wall like that. That is uh, quite a futile effort. I don't know who came up with that, but it does absolutely nothing whatsoever because as this thing fills with water, the pressure of it is just going to build up eventually. So all you're doing is delaying the problem. Unless, I don't know, maybe you poked a drain hole or did something crazy like that. But anyways, this is an indoor cable. This is an outdoor. The outdoor cables, they're, they're a bit thicker. The sheathing or the jacketing is of a, or supposed to be a stabilized type of plastic so that the UV from the sunlight won't degrade it. But eventually, somewhere, somehow, inevitably, you'll get a little uh, nick in the cable, the connector will fail, whatever you're plugging it into is directly exposed to rain and wind and snow and ice, and with time, it could be, you know, a few weeks, it could be a few years, that cable is going to fill with water and it's going to find its way into whatever this is plugged into, whether that be a router, a switch, a simple little PoE injector, such as I have here. And I was going through a couple of these and I noticed the green death kind of got into this one, so I suspected something wasn't quite right. I gave it a nice whack with a hammer, the casing flew apart, and sure enough, well, that's what happened. I was quite surprised to see the extent that this thing suffered. There was this little fuse here, this little AC mains fuse that fuses the line. It didn't actually go. I tested it with the multimeter. It was fine. We can see that on this here brand name Ubiquity UL listed power supply. We have very nice isolation on the circuit board from the high voltage to the low voltage side. This is where the AC mains plugs in. Interestingly, the only purpose of the ground is uh, for these these shielding covers on the on the network ports that's quite interesting to see but uh, the failure mode seems to be here where this little it's like a transformer probably some kind of a filtering capacitor and that's where it shit the bed if this was not a brand name UL listed device who knows what could have happened but uh, anyways the point being that this little cheap component could end up taking out a building if it were to catch on fire, but luckily it didn't, and uh, just something to be mindful of.